Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video we will study CompTIA A plus exam questions uh, related to core 2. Core 2 or code 1102. Uh, this is the first video in this uh, series. So let's get started. So the first question is that which Microsoft Windows 10 editions provide the option to join a domain? And we have to select all the correct answers and the options are Home Edition, Pro Edition, Pro for Workstations Edition or Enterprise Edition. And the correct answers are uh, besides Home, all these three editions, they support the domain joining. It means that uh, using these edition of Windows, you can join the a domain while well, with the home edition you cannot join a domain question number two is that in windows 10 assigned access is a feature that allows to modify desktop style or user interface by restrict by restricting user account access only to a single windows application also known as kiosk mode windows 10 edition offering this functionality include Again, we have to select all the correct options and the options are Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Pro for Workstation and Windows 10 Enterprise. And the correct answers are, again, besides Home Edition, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Pro for Workstation and Windows 10 Enterprise Edition, all these three editions offer this feature. Uh, this feature that is that you can restrict a user user account to access only a single windows app so question number three is which editions of microsoft windows 10 include the remote desktop client component we have to select all the correct options and the options are the home edition pro edition pro park workstation and the enterprise edition and the correct answers are all the options in this case are correct I, uh, it means that all the uh, windows 10 edition they support or they include the rdp client rdp or remote desktop client component question number four is that which edition of windows 10 by default does not include the remote desktop server component remote desktop server component and the options are again home pro pro for workstations and enterprise edition and the correct answer is the home edition only the home edition does not include the remote desktop server edition while pro pro for workstation and enterprise these all include the remote desktop server component Question number five is that which of the following is the physical memory limit for all 32-bit x86 editions of Windows 10? It means that their RAM limitation or memory limitation is limited to which of the following option. The options are 2GB, 4GB, 6GB and 8GB and the answer is 4GB. So, the 32-bit Windows 10 edition is limited to only 4 GB RAM. Question number six is that a 64-bit x64 Windows 10 Home Edition provides support for up to the options are 16 GB of RAM, 32 GB of RAM, 64 GB of RAM, and 1 to 8 GB of RAM. And the correct answer is 1 to 8 GB of RAM. Question number seven is that what is the physical memory limit for the 64-bit Windows 10 Pro Edition? And the options are 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte, 6 terabyte, and 8 terabyte. And the correct option is 2 terabyte. So in Windows 10 Pro Edition, having 64-bit uh, edition, we have the RAM limit of up to 2 terabyte it support up to 2 terabyte of ram 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज दैट विच ऑफ दी सिक्सटी फोर बिट विंडोज टेन एडिशन प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट फॉर अप टू सिक्स टेराबाइट ऑफ फिजिकल मेमोरी वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट ऑल द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड द ऑप्शन आर विंडो टेन होम विंडो टेन प्रो विंडो टेन प्रो फॉर वर्क स्टेशन एंड विंडोज एंटरप्राइज एडिशन एंड द करेक्ट आंसर आर विंडोज टेन प्रो फॉर वर्क स्टेशन एंड विंडोज टेन एंटरप्राइज एडिशन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज दैट विच एडिशन ऑफ विंडोज टेन इंक्लूड द बिट लॉकर ड्राइव इंक्रिप्शन फीचर वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट ऑल द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड द ऑप्शन आर विंडोज टेन होम विंडोज टेन प्रो विंडोज टेन प्रो फॉर वर्क स्टेशन एंड विंडोज टेन एंटरप्राइज एडिशन एंड द करेक्ट आंसर आर Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Pro for workstations, and Windows 10 Enterprise. Only the Home Edition does not support the BitLocker Drive Encryption feature. Question number ten is that which edition of Windows 10 by default does not include the Local Group Policy Editor? This uh, group, Local Group Policy Editor, editor can be accessed use, using. जी पी एडिट डॉट एम एस सी इन द रन कमांड आर इन द रन विंडो एंड द ऑप्शन आर द होम एडिशन प्रो एडिशन प्रो फॉर वर्क स्टेशन एंड एंटरप्राइज एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज अगेन द होम एडिशन सो द होम विंडो टेन होम एडिशन इज बाई फॉर द एडिशन विच हैज़ द लीस्ट फीचर इट हैज़ द लीस्ट फीचर एज कंपेयर टू द other edition of windows 10 question number 11 is that which of the answers listed below refer to windows command line commands used for directory traversal and we have to select two answers and the options are cd pwd or present working directory dir directory chdir or change directory or path and the correct options are cd and change directory and you can see that both cd and chdir they both uh, stand for change directory or directory traversal so these are the correct answer cd and chdir question number 12 is that which of the following windows commands prompt commands can be used to list all directory files and sub directories contained in the current directory we have to select all correct options and the options are dir or directory dir slash question mark dir steric dot steric dir slash all and dir slash list and the correct options are dir and dir steric dot steric these two options they list all the contents in the current directory question number 13 is that which of the answers listed below refer to windows command line commands used to create a directory or a sub directory and we have to select two answers and the options are md mkd mdir mkdr or mkdir and the correct answers are md or make directory and again mkdir or the make directory so these are the correct answer these are used to create a new directory or a sub directory question number 14 is that which of the following windows command prompt commands can be used to delete all to delete a directory select all that apply and the options are rd del rmdir dir/d or pop d and the correct answers are rd or we can say that remove directory and again rmdir or again rmdir also stand for remove directory so these two commands are used to delete or remove a directory question number 15 is that which of the windows command line commands listed below changes the drive from c to d and the correct answer from these options is c colon slash 
D colon. So this uh, option is used to go from directory C to directory D. Question number 16 is that what is the name of a window command prompt utility that can be used to display TCP IP configuration settings? And the options are fconfig, nslookup, ipconfig and netstate. And the correct answer is ipconfig. The ifconfig is uh, command does the same thing but it is used in Linux or Unix operating system, while in Windows we use ipconfig. Question number 17 is that a command line utility used for checking the reachability of a remote network host is called and the options are ping, tracert, dig and netstate and the correct answer is ping. So the ping command is used to check whether the remote network host is available are alive or not. Question number 18 is that which of the following command line commands display the name of the current computer a user is connected to? Options are host, hosts, host name and local host. And the correct answer is host name. Question number 19 is that netstate is a command line utility used for and we have to select two answers. The options are displaying the active TCP IP connections, testing the reachability of a remote host, displaying the intermediary, intermediary points on the packet route, viewing the TCP IP configuration detail and displaying the network protocol statistics. And the correct answers are that it displays the active TCP IP connections and it also displays the network protocol statistics. Question number 20 is that which of the network command line tools listed below enables obtaining an FQDN to IP. FQDN stand for fully qualified domain name to IP address mapping. And the options are netstat, nslookup, tracert and pathping. And the correct answer is nslookup or name server lookup. So the name server or DNS server it translate FQDN to IP address or we can say that it translate a domain name such that let's suppose www. let's suppose we have google.com so this NS lookup it translate this to the IP address let's suppose the IP address may be this although this is a name server of Google but the purpose of NSLOOKUP command is to translate the FQDN or domain name to an IP address. Question number 21 is that which of the following command prompt utilities in Microsoft Windows allows to verify the file system integrity and fix logical file system errors. Options are grab, chk, dsk, dsk, sfc and dism and the correct answer is chk, dsk or check disk. So in most of the question if you know the abbreviation of the option you already know the answer. So here the check disk utility is used to check or verify the file system integrity and fix any errors in the logical file system. Question number 22 is that which command line command in Windows lists a computer's connection to shared resources and the options are netshare, netuse, netsession and netconfig and the correct answer is netuse. Question number 23 is that which command prompt command in Microsoft Windows lists the user accounts for the computer options are netview, net session, net user and net accounts and the correct answer is net user. 
Question number 24 is that a network command line utility in Microsoft Windows that tracks and displays the route taken by IP packets on their way to another host is known as options are the ping, trace route, NS lookup, and trace RT. And the correct answer is trace RT. So in Windows it is trace RT while in some Linux and Unix machine, this command is trace route. So that's all for today. Thank you all for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, so please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.